Hi, hello, 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 hello everyone. Hello. Making a quick video. So this week, uh, I think it started from last week, right? From last week, one of the things that has been on my mind is seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Many of us, we know that scripture very well from Matthew, right? And I saw it being placed around the place as well. I saw it on WhatsApp and I think on Facebook as well. And I'm like, hmm, God is really saying something to us at this time. When I just got saved, that's one of the scriptures that I meditated upon. And I wanted to know, God, what do you mean, seek ye first the kingdom of God? What is the kingdom of God? What is it? It's something that I asked about because I wanted, I was so hungry for God, hungry for him. So I wanted to understand everything that he was saying to me. And if I heard a scripture, I wanted to know what it meant. What is it? And we also know of the scripture that says, um, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. I remember when the Lord started revealing that scripture to me, what he pointed out was that when he said, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart, he pointed out that he, he's not going to give you the things that you are wanting, that you want your desires. It's not that. It's not that he's going to, you're going to be happy with him and he's just going to give you whatever it is that you want. No. You know what the Lord showed me? He showed me that whenever it is that we delight in him, when we have that relationship with him, when we desire him, when we go after him, our heart posture is going to change. So it's not necessarily the things that we want, that we are going to get but he's going to change whatever desires we had in our hearts and i can tell you that is my story it's my continuous story because the story is still being written and this was one of the things for me as it relates to marriage marriage so in 2016 the lord gave me the idea about a book he gave me so many book ideas. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. He gave me so many book ideas and he spoke to me about kingdom marriage. He was talking to me and teaching me about kingdom marriage. So I got saved in 2016. I surrendered my life in 2016. Like completely said, God, this is it. I, I need you. I cannot do this by myself. 2016 is when I did that. I started my journey with the Lord he was teaching me about the kingdom and all of that. I was, just, I was in a space where it was just me and God and I loved it. I just loved it. Everything else for me was a distraction. And when I thought about marriage and relationship, it felt like a distraction to me. As a matter of fact, when I just got saved or before I got saved, I was saying to God, in order for me to do this and walk this walk, walk this journey, Lord, I have to get married when I get saved because I don't want to fornicate. Because my understanding of marriage is that you get, at that time, was that you get married because you don't want to fornicate. I didn't know that there was a, a kingdom agenda attached to marriage. I didn't understand the fullness. So God started teaching me. And the more I started learning about it, the more I did not want to get married. <laughs> because it was so serious. Until I got to a point where the Lord started showing me that I'm calling you to marriage. And I started getting content in the calling. And he's just been doing what he's doing. I'll testify more about this at the opportune time. So he's been doing a lot of things to me where that is concerned. He's, he has re rewired my mind where that is concerned as well. And so many other things awesome things that I would love to share with us all. So I asked God, I remember asking God, what is the kingdom? What is the kingdom? And then he led me to the scripture that says it's righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. And I was like, okay, so that is the kingdom. In a nutshell, and we can stretch it out, we can expand it to, to, to mean other things as well. But that's the basis of what the kingdom is. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. So I was like, yes, 
And then when we talk about kingdom marriages, it is a marriage that glorifies God. It is one that deals with righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost and so many other nice things and rough things and things that will stretch us. But the ultimate thing is that when we're seeking the kingdom of God, he is going to be glorified. When we're seeking the things that, that glorify God, he is going to put us in the different ministries that he needs us to be in. One such ministry is marriage, right? So I have since embraced my call to marriage. And because of that, I am now at this stage where I am able to write the book that he has placed on my heart, which is more than the bedroom, preparing for your kingdom marriage. And we are going to have a conference as well. It's on September 30th at the Ligony Club. It's in New Kingston on Knotsford Boulevard. It's going to be amazing. Our speakers will be Onif and Charlotte Newell from God's Heritage Children Ministry. They are amazing. They are just practical, down to earth. They tell you how it is. So I now know, because of my walk with the Lord, that marriage is not just about sex. Sex is just like icing on the cake. It's like a little extra. It's like dessert. But there's just so much more that is not even being spoken about in the church. And because of that, you find a lot of people getting married like what I thought initially because they didn't want to fornicate right but this conference and this book i believe is it's going to just blow some things out of the water it's going to convict us it is going to set our minds right when we think about marriage and what a kingdom marriage looks like uh with the conference you're going to have your dinner as well you're going to get a copy of your book and you're going to get a, co a token as well i'll have my other books on sale the other two books that i wrote before if you never got them before you can come and get them so i'm inviting you I'm inviting you as you seek first the kingdom of God in your relationships, in the work that the Lord has for you. And as you delight yourself in the Lord so he can give you the desires of your heart, which is really his desire for you because your mind is going to be transformed. How you see marriage is going to be transformed as well for the better. So don't be scared. It's going to be a great time. It's a Saturday. And if you are not able to join us in person, you can join us online. The registration link, we have it. We have, we're going to have tickets available on Monday as well. So you can send me a DM. But I want you to be there it's about marriage, it's about sex, it's about purpose, it's about how everything intertwines, it's about how you can glorify God in your relationship. Listen, you can't miss it. And it's my birth month, September is my birth month, so it's sort of a way to celebrate with me as well, because even putting the book together, it's just been a journey, and... God is just amazing. You'll be blessed. I won't tell you too much. I won't tell you too much. Our awesome moderator will be Datania McLaren from Man and Woman Conversations. And if, you, if you've ever followed their ministry and watched their lives, you know that they keep it real. So Datania, who is from the couple, Datania is going to be our moderator. And listen, it's going to be an amazing time. I know that God is just going to show up and show off. So it is not only for people who are Christians. If you're not a Christian, I'm begging you to come. Listen to me. I need you to come. You need to come. You need to come. You need to come. You need to come. Need to come. Right? So I just came in from work and that was on my heart to put out there. So I'm putting you out there. So looking forward to seeing you. You can DM me if you have any questions, any concerns. Love you much. Thank you for the continued support. May God continually be glorified through my life and through your life and through everything that we will ever do on this earth because it's only what we do for God that will matter. So more than the bedroom conference and book launch, Saturday, September 30th, 6 p.m., the Ligony Golf Club in New Kingston. See you there. And remember, share this with somebody who you know might benefit. All right, take care. Bye.